Hi everyone, I'm about four hours from where I normally am, four hours south in Mackenzie country, looking at a new fossil site, never been here before, never even been close, and I managed to find it. Have a look here. Look at this layer of shells. <laughs> That's so cool. I don't know what fossils are here, but we're going to find out together. I'm hoping there's something we can find that's identifiable, maybe a shark tooth or something. This might be a... Oh yeah, that's a coral. A oh, beautiful little coral or something there. Awesome. <laughs> Already finding stuff. And I've only just, just got here. Just look at this layer over here. That's a good layer for shark teeth to be sitting in. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, let me carry on looking. I'll let you know when I find the next thing. Here's a bit of bone. It looks to be hollow. not sure if it's fossil and I don't know where it came from. Did it come from this cliff or did it come from the topsoil? So modern, I'm not sure. I'll, I'll keep it anyway. Yeah, interesting one. And there's so much stuff over here. Look at that shell. See if we can get that one out. It's really nice and soft. There we go. Managed to get it out in one piece. It's a beautiful shell. I'm gonna leave the green sand on it. I think this is green sand actually. Yeah, it looks to be green sand. Hmm. Yeah. It's come away beautifully in one piece, so that shell's gonna just look beautiful. Let's see what else we can see over here. You can see the layers of shell just going through this bank. There's another one of those tiny corals. Hmm, it's so loose. Beautiful little corals. Really hoping there's some shark teeth sitting around here. Here's something I recognize. Look at this tusk shell. <laughs> I think tusk shells are Miocene, so this probably is a Miocene deposit, there's another one over there. Oh, look at that cool gastropod shell. That's in really good condition as well. Oh, that's a beautiful one. Let's get it out. Yeah, have a look at that one. That is beautiful. It's got all the spirals, it's got the tip intact. That's beautiful. I'm really enjoying myself over here. I can't get over how many fossils are in here. It's just fossil shell after fossil shell. Corals, all sorts of things in here. No shark teeth yet, but they should be in here. This is the right spot for them. Have a look at the size of this shell over here. That is a beautiful fossil shell. Let's see if we can get it out of there in one piece.
There we go. Have a look at that one. I don't recognize this shell, but it's really such a beautiful shell. It came away so well. <laughs> it's really nice having a soft matrix for once. I'm used to everything being rock hard. This area is so amazing. It's private property, but I got permission from the farmer to be up here. So I don't think many people come down here to fossil land. I've never heard of anyone. <laughs> oh. This layer seems to be a lot finer material. It really looks to be green sand. It's got that color to it. The shells over here are a lot more broken and finer. Oh, look at that sinkhole. <laughs> be a good place for mower bones to be collecting in. Don't see any. I'm hoping to find something more than shells today. Maybe a nice vertebra or bone at least that I can identify. I've got no idea what would be here, maybe whales? It might be young enough for whales. It's definitely younger than Cretaceous, so there, there should be some mammals around, some marine mammals. <laughs> Look at that shell. I'm looking at this siltstone layer over here, and this is all soft. It's like a, a clay or a siltstone. And this, that's hard. This thing over here is a concretion. That's very interesting. So that means there should be concretions in the riverbed. Maybe there's a few bones sticking out of them. Let's see if we can find one. I'm sure that's not the only one. There must have been one or two that have washed out. Like that brown one over there. That looks like a good candidate for a concretion. It could be a concretion, this. There's something over there. I don't see any bones sticking out of it. So maybe the concretions here are forming around something other than bone. I'll keep on having a look over here. See if I spot anything. Here we go. I think this is a concretion. And there's a shell inside there. Nothing else that I can see, but that's a definite shell over there. So maybe they could form around bone. I'll keep an eye out for these concretions, see if we find anything with bone in it. Oh, that looks promising. <laughs> Let's have a look there. That's strange, I'm not seeing much in this layer. Hmm. No shells, no teeth, no bones, nothing. Very strange. Not sure what this is. Almost looks like trace fossils, like from burrows or something. That's so many all together. 
Very strange. It's only in this one area. Nothing else that I can see in here. Wonder what bird's living up there. Wonder if it's a native owl or maybe even a hawk. Still haven't found the next fossils. Strange, this layer just doesn't have anything in it. There's a chimney stack of an old home site. If I had my metal detector, yeah, that'd be an interesting place to go have a look at. I'm pretty sure no one else would have been here. I'm in the middle of nowhere. I'm just about out of time for today. I think this will be my last fossil I try and get out. It looks to be a bivalve. That's still attached to both sides. So it's got the, the bottom and the top side to it. See if we can get it out in one piece. It's so nice and soft. <laughs> there we go. That came away perfectly. Both sides to it. <laughs> Still attached at the hinge part there. That's a good place to stop. It's been such an incredible hunt to be like 50 kilometers inland and still find this amount of shells. It's just insane. I've really enjoyed it. I didn't, I wasn't sure if I was going to find anything today even. And here are the fossils I found today, including a little medicine bottle from the 1880s, I think, that I found at a home site on the way back. Before we take a closer look at them and try and figure out what the species are, I think let's clean up this shell and that one, just so we can have a better look at them. cleaning up those shells 
So let's have a look at what species we have. I've printed out the shells that are found at that location. And it's even older than I thought. It's late Eocene. So that's about 34 million years old. That makes it probably some of my older shells. Here's the last one I found on the day. And it corresponds with C over here. I'm not going to try and pronounce the names. But there it is. I'll also put it on screen. What I'll do is I'll also put a link to this PDF. The PDF is free. It's about 500 pages. And it's got amazing information about shells in New Zealand. It's kind of the go-to guide. Here is that large bivalve I found right in the beginning. And you can see it corresponds with H. Here's that large welka I found, and you can see it corresponds to T, or U, uh, and that's a sessia. While I was working on this large welk, this tiny one popped out of the matrix, which is F. A melda. A little boned shell there. And the runner-up for my favorite shell of the day is this little one which is why over here, very detailed, it's a beautiful little shell which corresponds over here to that name which I'm not going to try and pronounce I also got confirmation from the museum that these two are little corals if you know what species it could be please leave a comment Thanks for coming along on that hunt. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was great being in a new spot, uh, having a look at those shells and the layers. I'm really looking forward to prepping. My hands out of the cast. I think it's time to go get into the garage and get into some prepping. See you guys soon. I think it's time we see what these shark vertebrae look like. I think it's time to get prepping. <laughs>